Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Everybody, the old captain here, and I have to apologize because I, I did do this. I, I cannot be losing it that quickly. I did do this video before, but either the YouTubes took it down or it never uploaded right or what, but this is a... And I apologize because they told me, yeah, it's up. And then it's like, it's not up. I'm like, fucking kid. I'm like, fucking, oh, it's not up. What the fuck happened to it? Anyway, so, dear asshole, first off, I want to say thank you. Uh, your videos are great, and I agree with a lot of what you have to say. I'm going to keep this as short as I can because God knows I need some advice. I'm currently working about 30 hours a week finishing up at a community college. When I started going to community college, I only went part-time because work pretty much took up most of my time. Smart move. I'm living at home and 22 years old. I use the money for work to pay for my school. I haven't had to take out any loans so far. Smart move. Now I need four more classes to transfer. When I started, I really wanted to study computer engineering, be a clinical lab tech. After getting my bachelor's, get my master's, and get into virology, but that took a turn about a year ago when I realized math is not my strong point. After about a year, about a year ago, I decided to get into physical therapy. More specifically, I want to be a physical therapist assistant. Here's the breakdown. One of the schools I'm looking at is about 30 grand. The program length is about 15 months, and it's accredited. It's a private university. Also has a pretty good reputation. It's Loma Linda University. I've looked at what PTAs make, and it's about $20 to $35 per hour. PTAs also seem to be in demand. In my area, it's about $25 to $35 an hour average. Do you think it would be a good idea for me to go this route and start working in the field? Then work on my master's on the side, become an actual physical therapist, or should I go the IT route and do networking? I think that I can go to the trade school and get my certification to do that. I'm at a point where I still have a choice, but I need to decide now. Oh, and if I can't get into LLU, there's another college that accepts more people, but the program is 20 months at about 42000 To be honest, I feel that's a lot of damn money, which I do copy the PTA or IT. So, I looked up the stuff on the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And you can pretty much just type in the Google, BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, and then a title, job title. And it will come up with its, um, its analysis and starting and average pay and all that. So I looked up uh, physician assistant. I'm like, makes 90,000. I'm like, holy shit, this is great. This is really... and I'm like, oh, wait, no, he said physical therapist. So I, physical therapist assistant. And well, that's, that's not that much. You make, thir this is median pay. Okay, this is median. This is like you've been in the industry, you've been in the business. You make less than 40 grand, 39, 400. All right, 18, 19 bucks an hour. Uh, and, and frankly, that's, this is one of those type of careers where you're sitting there because you're an alcoholic and you're unemployed and you just got done with your four hour porn session and you turn on and the price is right is on and then the, then comes all my children and the commercials tell you what a fucking loser you are and then you hope to maybe make it to, to the cartoons, the afternoon cartoons, if those even show anymore, I don't know because I haven't watched TV in the afternoon. And then, like, you could become a physical therapist assistant, all right? Dude, you can make more as a fucking good bartender, fucking driving cab or Uber. Um, honest to God, what what the fuck? That, why you, that's, no, no. Uh, the physical therapist assistant. And then, oh, you get your master's. Well, then maybe, maybe you make 70 grand a year. Oh, fuck that, no. Uh, so then you go to IT, computer, uh, network and computer systems administrator, 72.5, median salary. You need a bachelor's degree, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's just and it's and now look, here's the problem with these. Once you get into a hospital, one the physical therapist assistants you're gonna be wiping people's asses when they're re learning the rewalk and they piss themselves. You get to clean up the urine on the treadmill or whatever the fuck. You're not actually teaching them anything, uh, so you're just gonna be there. You're just gonna be a lackey. Um, but both industries require. They suffer from an element of progressive credentialism. The the medical industry, uh, just because they like to fuck around. <laughs> Seriously, I, I know I had this buddy. Swear to God, she's still going to school, and she was going to school to become a nurse. And I'm like, Are you a nurse yet? No, I'm a I'm a RN vice reserve. You know, break glass in case of emergency. Wannabe nurse. 
Well, they, when you become, oh, I gotta get my degree. And then she gets her degree. Then she got, and then they always, always, always have to have more education. In other words, you go down that industry, that route. You constantly have to be educated. You're a slave. You're the. You you will never leave school. You'll never leave it. IT, however, even though like your certifications go out of date, that's because the industry is moving that fast. And beforehand it was COBOL, then it was C plus, now it's C sharp, and now you know JavaScript and all that other stuff. So you got to stay ahead of the curve. Um, but that's the nature of the business, and they don't need you to go to fucking school to do it. If you're a nurse, you can't just like self-certify. Like, hey, yeah, I'm my doctorate. No, I self-study. No, but with IT, you can pick up a book, take some classes online for free, take your test, and then you're certified in that industry. So it's just it's just gonna be less of a pain in the ass. It's gonna be higher paying, and you're not gonna deal with fucking bullshit. All right, it, you don't. IT just there's a lot less bullshit that you have to deal with. Um, so yeah, that that's what I would do. I'd go the IT route. I don't even know if you need to go to school, but I, I mean, yeah, go to the trade school, like learn the basics. Um, but yeah, just honest to God, it, that medical in industry, that medical field is looking worse and worse. Just does not look like something you wanna participate in because of all the hurdles. So anyway, hopes that helps. I'll put these links below, and I swear to fucking God. I'm going to do it this time. God, I haven't even been drinking. That's the problem. Maybe I should have started drinking again. All right, best of luck, toodles.